Hello to all. In this video, we will discuss some important topic: how to calculate speed, what is velocity, what is acceleration, and some information what we get from speed, time, and distance time graph. So distance. Distance is the total length covered by an object during its motion from one point to another without considering the direction of motion. So an object can move from A to B by taking several paths. The object can move uh, on this path also or this is another path the object can take. So the distance will be the total length covered by the object in going from A to B. It is a scalar quantity. Distance is a scalar quantity. It has only magnitude. The distance can never be zero or negative. It is only a positive quantity. Distance gives detailed information about the entire path covered during the motion. Now the displacement. Displacement is the measurement of shortest distance between two points along with the direction of motion. So in which direction the motion is uh, happening, you have to consider the shortest distance between the two points. It is a vector quantity. It has magnitude and direction both. Displacement can be positive, negative or zero. The starting and the end point is required for the calculation of the displacement. On circular graph, the displacement will be when the object moves from A to B, the displacement will be the shortest distance between A and B, it is uh, the diameter of the circular track, while the distance covered by object in going from A to B will be the half of the circumference. So it will be the pi r. r will be the radius of the circuit. And when the object comes again from its original position, the displacement will be zero because the initial, the starting and the end position will be same. But the distance covered by an object in going from A to B and then from B to A will be the circumference of the circle. It will be 2 pi r. Speed. The distance traveled by a moving object per unit time is called speed of an object. Velocity. The displacement of a moving object per unit time is called velocity of an object. Quantity. It has only magnitude. While velocity is a vector quantity, it has both magnitude and direction. So speed we calculate using this formula. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Average speed is total distance divided by total time. Velocity is displacement divided by time. Average velocity v bar is equal to delta x by delta t. Where delta x is equal to position of final uh, displacement minus position of initial displacement. So xf minus xi. This is the final position. This is the initial position. Delta t is the time in covering that displacement. Find the average speed of Lx who covers the first 300 km in 4 hours and the next 180 km in another 5 hours. So we have to calculate average speed. Average is speed is equal to total distance divided by total time taken. So total distance is 300 plus 180 kilometer and total time is 4 hours plus 5 hours. It is 9 hours. So 480 divided by 9 is equal to 53.33 kilometer per hour is the speed of the LX. Calculate the average velocity of a particular time interval of a car if it moves 8 meter in 4 second and 16 meter in 6 second on a straight road. So initial displacement of car is 8 meter and final displacement of car is 16 meter. So displacement is final displacement minus initial displacement. It will be 16 minus 8. 8 meter will be the displacement of the car. And time taken is 6 minus 4. 2 second is the time interval. So average velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. It is 8 divided by 2. It is equal to 4 meter per second. Steady speed. If an, what is a steady speed? If an object is moving with a steady speed, it means that object covers equal distance in equal time interval. It means that here in the graph, it is showing the steady speed. It is the uniform speed. And here this graph 
represent a non-uniform speed. In this graph, the rate of changing of speed is equal for equal time interval. Here, the speed is changing and the rate at which the speed is changing is not uniform. Here we have a tabular description of the data for uniform speed and in this table, this defines the non-uniform data. Let's say this represent time and this is distance. So when you draw a graph, it will be a straight line sloping up. And when you draw a graph for non-uniform motion, it will be some curved line. It will not be the straight line. Here if we can check that for one, when the time was one second, the distance covered by object is four meter. When the time was two second, the distance covered by an object is eight. Three second, it was 12. So when you calculate a distance in equal time interval, it will be equal. Like if you calculate distance covered in two second, so three minus one will be the time interval for two second and 12 minus four is the eight meter distance covered in two second. 5 minus 3, 2 second interval of 2 second and 20 minus 12, 8 second. So for every 2 second, the distance covered is 8 second. Similarly, for every 1 second, the distance covered is 4 second. As 2 minus 1 will give you the total time interval of 1 second. So 8 minus 4, 4 meter. For every 1 second, the distance covered is 1, uh, the distance covered is 4 meter. For every 3 second, if you want to calculate, for every 3 second, 3 minus, you can take 4 minus 1, for every 3 second is 3 second and 16 minus 4 is 12 meter. So for every 3 second, the distance covered is 12 meter. We can check 5 minus 2, 3 second and 20 minus 8 is 12 meter. So this data represents how the speed changing. And this is called a uniform speech. Again, I would like to repeat this definition that object covers equal distance in equal time interval. For non-uniform motion, this will not be the case. As uh, initial in the initial time, at one second, the distance covered by an object 2 meter. For 2, it is 4. For 3, it is 7. So in every one second, if you want to calculate the distance, 2 minus 1 for one second, the distance covered is 4 minus 2, 2 meter. For next one second, between 2 and 3, the distance covered is 3 meter. For next one second, between 3, 4, the distance covered is 5 meter. So this is an example of non-uniform motion. And the graph of non-uniform motion will not be straight, it will be curved like. This is how we define the unit. If distance is measured in meter and kilometer, the unit and in mile, time is me measured in second, measured in hour, the speed, the unit of a speed will be meter per second or kilometer per hour or miles per hour. So which of the following could not be a unit of a speed? The unit of a speed will have unit of distance divided by unit of time. Kilometer per hour, yes, it is possible second per meter it is not possible it is time divided by distance this is meter per second it is possible and this is millimeter multiplied by second so it is not possible rearrange the equation we can rearrange the equation to get uh, other physical quantity if we have to calculate any unknown physical quantity between three of these Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time and time is equal to distance divided by time. So you can calculate any of them. Information about the three cars traveling on a motorway is shown in the table. We have three vehicles, the distance traveled by the three vehicle and time taken in minute. So which car is moving fastest and which car is moving slowest? So we have to first calculate their speed. Speed of car A, B, C we have calculated here and we can see that which car is moving fastest. Car C is moving fastest and which car is moving slowest? Definitely it's car B. Here we have given some example. Uh, you have to rearrange this equation and calculate all the unknown uh, factor. I suggest you to pause the video and check what in every numerical we have solved. This is an important discussion. This is a distance time graph. 
so we can represent the motion of a moving object with distance time graph the utility of making a distance time graph is that we know how the motion of the object was with time key points to remember the slope of distance time graph of any object tells its speed so what is slope slope is the change in the y values over the change in the x value so here if you want to calculate the slope of this green line the slope will be change in the y values it is here 5.5 minus 1 over change of x value x coordinate 3 minus 1 3 minus this is 0 0.5 so speed here is 1.8 meter per second now the steeper the graph the greater its speed the pink graph is more steeper than this green graph so this represent more speed when the graph becomes horizontal its slope is zero it tells us that object is stationary since with time the distance covered by object is not changing so object is stationary it is not moving object is not moving and a curved line on distance time graph represent that its speed is non-uniform it is not steady motion negative gradient shows the object is returning back to the starting point so negative gradient shows that its speed is decreasing with time. Acceleration. What is acceleration? Acceleration is defined as a rate of change of an object's velocity. If initial velocity is u and final velocity is y, v, then change in velocity will be v minus 1. And acceleration you can define as change in velocity divided by time taken is equal to v minus u over t and this arrow represent that these quantities are vector quantity of the symbol so si unit of acceleration is meter per second square a train initially moving at 12 meter per second speeds up to 36 meter per second in 120 second what is its acceleration so here the change in speed is 36 minus 12 and divided by time taken it is 120 so acceleration will be 0.2 meter per second square Velocity time graph. Here we have plotted velocity on y axis and time on x axis. So, here key points to remember are some important points that the slope of any velocity time graph of object tells its acceleration. Now, if you want to know the acceleration of the graph and you calculate the slope here, the gradient of the graph, it will give you the acceleration of the object. The steeper the slope, the greater the acceleration. A horizontal graph means slope is zero. It represents a constant speed. It means that speed is not changing with time. So it is constant. Sloping upward shows increasing speed. This graph P increasing speed. However, A is also increasing speed, but the speed is not uniform. And sloping down negative slope means deceleration the speed is decreasing and it is a retarded motion the acceleration is decreasing deceleration a curved line shows that acceleration is changing not constant if its speed changes at a steady rate the line would have been straight like this Finding distance. A speed time graph represents an object's movement. So we can use this graph to find how far the object moves. To do this, we have to use this equation. Distance is equal to area under speed time graph. And area under velocity time graph gives an object's displacement. The area under any straight line graph can be broken down into rectangle and triangle. So here uh, the area of rectangle is 60 multiplied by 6, it, it, it is 360 meter and for triangle it is 1 by 2 multiplied by base, 60 minus 20 it is 40. So 1 by 2 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 8, 14 minus 6 it is 8. So it is uh, 160 meter. So total distance traveled is 360 plus 160 it, it is 520 meter. Similarly, uh, these differentiated area represent the uh, distance traveled. In this graph, in order to calculate the total distance traveled by object, 
in time from 0 to 50 seconds, we have to calculate the area under this graph. And the area can be broken down into rectangle and triangle. So from 0 to 10 seconds, the distance traveled by an object is given by the area of this triangle. Similarly, for 10 to 30 seconds, it is uh, for 10 to 20, it is rectangle. The shape is rectangle here. For 20 to 30, this segment can be broken down into rectangle plus triangle. And for 30 to 50, this section is in the shape of triangle. So we uh, calculate the separate area and then we add to get the total distance traveled from 0 to 50 seconds. Name the sections that represent steady speed. Section B, D and F. These three sections represent steady speed. In section B, speed is decreasing. In D, speed is decreasing. In F, speed is increasing. Speeding up, accelerating. Section F, it is a steady speed. Acceleration is uniform here. Being stationary, section E. Slowing down, section B and section D. Slowing down. Section A, section C and section G. These three sections represent speed is constant here. So, they are example of constant speed. Speed is constant, acceleration is zero. When uh, speed is sloping up, but it is a steady speed, it is a straight line. So, acceleration is uniform acceleration. When speed is sloping down in section B and D, so it means that its speed is decreasing. Acceleration is also decreasing. It's a uniform deceleration. Sometimes in my class also, my students ask me that why sometimes it is a speed and it is sometimes somewhere it is velocity and you told us that velocity is a vector quantity, speed is a scalar quantity, but the gradient of a speed time graph is acceleration and acceleration itself is a vector quantity. How is it possible? So if the total displacement is equal to total distance, or we can say that if the body moves in a straight line without any change in direction, then the average speed and the average velocity are equal. So velocity is just speed with direction. And in this case, you can consider, uh, you can write that you can cal you calculate acceleration with a speed time graph. These are the same things. And these are the examples that you consider a body moves in a straight line and only straight line motion is covered in your uh, topic. So motion of a car on a straight line, free fall of object, elevators, when elevators moves and planes moving in a straight line in the sky, example of rectilinear motion, train moving on a track follows a straight line, hence it undergoes a rectilinear motion. So here the average speed and average velocities are equal. So don't get confused when you see somewhere there is a speed time graph and the slope of a speed time graph tells you inf information about the acceleration. Somewhere it is velocity time graph because velocity is a speed with, with direction. Then you can call it velocity. Speed uh, just have a magnitude only. I hope so that this value has this video has helped you and please write your feedback in the comment section thank you thank you very much for watching this video